we're here to talk about the summer event and with that i should also say greetings youtube welcome to another fate grand order session if you guys didn't already know the summer event is now out and i actually really like the summer event and also realizing i forgot to turn game sounds back on again i'm so bad with this now, how shall I commemorate this great achievement of reaching, what is this, Summer 7, I think? Yeah, it's, no. Wait, which, which summer is this? No, it would be Summer 6, wouldn't it? I always get confused, because technically the summer event, the first summer event was in year, was in the, was after the first anniversary. So it's like, yeah, it's the same number as the anniversary number. So we just had the seventh anniversary. So this is the seventh summer event. Yes. Okay. I am bad with numbers. Do not worry about me. Oh, and also I gotta I gotta send out a Discord notification. I'm so bad. All right, at everyone. Um. Fate bad voice acting is a go for summer join in gonna say though uh fair warning we're probably gonna do this for at least the next week uh so I'm going to be focusing primarily on this event because that's where I kind of want to be. It's like pretty much usually FGO events are more about filling in the first week and then we'll have two more weeks of just pure farming. So for the next seven days, this will be probably the main focus of my streams. We will still do still do other stuff, hopefully. But this will always be where we end up. Now, it is time to begin. Oh, wait. Uh, let's go ahead and clarify the question. Will I be rolling for any characters? Yes, I will be rolling for Summer Scotty, who is to be released in what should be about seven days. So, in one week, we will be rolling for Summer Scotty. I will be doing no rolls prior to that to that day let me clarify no rolls until the release of summer scotty do not do not ask me to throw a multi do not try to convince me to throw a multi if you are try if you try star has full rights to time you out and if you continue trying to harass the rolls star has full rights to ban you Technically, uh, only I can ban red, but that's beside the point. We all in the clear? No rolls. That's that's the thing that's going on. So here we go, guys. It's time to deep dive into the Arctic summer world. Also, if you guys want to let me know in the comment section below, uh, which of the Valkyries are you going for? I'm going for Ortland. I just like her. Sand. The bleaching of the Earth's surface. The erasure of humanity. They say the whole of the Earth's surface has been wiped clean. Oh uh ho. -huh. It seems the bleaching has reached even here. The bleached earth phenomenon has left the world devoid of both life and color. In all directions, as far as the eye can see, there is only pure white. That same blanket of unchanging white covers the whole of the world. I thought the North Pole might have been... might have been an exception. Hmm... No, I see it is quite as featureless as the rest of the world. The Arctic Circle 
The Arctic Ocean? There, her glare finally settles upon a body of water that should have been covered with thick, perennial ice. But even that has been bleached away. Now it is no more than another part of the endless, indistinguishable landmass. Now I see. So this bleaching of humanity is no more is no mere simple transformation of land. Then is some manner of mystic responsible? Truly, nothing but white as far as the eye can see. Very well. I can work with this. Yes. I think this place will do nicely. She smiles at the vast white expanse. A most inhuman smile indeed. Well, I have a question. Who is she? You're not going to answer me? Oh, maybe we'll get an answer. I hear footsteps. <gasps> Who is that dashy? Oh, wow. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry. It's just usually in this game, whenever uh, there's a silhouette that is so obviously a character because it's so easy to tell who they are. The game is just like, oh, yeah, we're just going to leave this silhouette here. So I was going to joke and say a dashing silhouette. I wonder who they could be. <laughs> but the game was like, no, nah, we're just going to show you. It's Scotty. All right. Why don't you do this the rest of the time? The time has come. In my hand, a holy grail. Before me, a land of endless white nothingness. <laughs> Any who think they can stop me are most welcome to try. Lady Scotty, please, don't do this! Is it really worth going this far away from Caldea? Yeah, this isn't like you, Lady Scotty. Come on, let's just go home and have ice cream. Oh, there's the pink one that Star wants. This is the one I want. Ortland, the black-haired one. And don't forget about Master. How do you think he's going to feel about this? Even with Primordial Runes, you can only use your independent action for so long. Now come on, let's go home. Hmm... Master? That got her. Yeah, Master! He's gonna be so sad when he finds out you took a Holy Grail. Actually, where did you even get that holy grail? The ones in the underground storage unit are kept under tight lock and key, so then... Okay, so let's be- so she has a holy grail. This whole event is the fault of every master who ever level 100 or 120 their Scotty. You guys gave her a grail and she betrayed us. I am ashamed of all of you. <laughs> Is that a new Holy Grail, Lady Scotty? <laughs> that it is. I obtained a Holy Grail for myself. And I will not allow anyone to stand in my way. Not even Master. Now, behold. Oh, shit. Whoa, hold on. We getting a magical girl transformation? Oh, wait, legs. Um. Oh. Oh, damn. I didn't see this last time. Oh. Well, it is definitely summer because I am thirsty. <coughs> Fox needs water. Shut up! <laughs> Star, you have no room to talk, as if you don't do the same thing when, like, a Tamamo or Koyan enters the screen. You have no room to judge. What do I think? I think, I, damn. They went all out on Summer Scotty. To be fair, I already knew this. But you guys didn't. 
if you are NA exclusive. A swimsuit spirit origin? The fact that that's a thing is ridiculous, but I love it. No, no, wait. If she only wished to change her spirit origin, she could have just used runes. Yeah, like she did to Canis. So, the fact that she used the Holy Grail instead must mean... No way. Yes way, Ortland. You took your time with that realization. As an expression of my love, I have decided to decorate the Arctic Circle with a brand new singularity. Yeah, sure. Are we doing it during your time or my time is the question. I'm assuming like it's going to be like down to the day, so it should be uh it should be what Thursday of next week or is it going to be Wednesday? I'm assuming it's going to be like the 20 the 25th. No wait, it was on the 10th, so it was exactly set yeah, so it would have been 25th. So, okay. As long as nothing uh, gets in the way of work, I should be able to do it. But it's also supposed to rain a lot this weekend, so uh, give me Monday and Tuesday to get a definitive answer for you. Because, like, it's supposed to rain this weekend, and that might cause a delay in my work week, so that might be a while. Bow wow. Wait, I just realized that sounded like a dog barking. I swear I was not barking at Scotty. No, I swear I wasn't. I was going, I, I, when I, I was doing a noise like, huh, what's going on? Not a bow wow. I, I swear. No, I, look guys, look, I, I can be as degen as anybody else, but I swear I'm not usually that degen. Nobody has a clip of that time I was, that I howled, right? Shit. Uh, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Okay. All right. What do we got next? Also, no battle. No battle. I found our first candidate. Excuse me. Could I have a word with you? Huh? Pardon me, you two. Could I have a moment of your time? Huh? What's a Valkyrie want with- Wait. You look different somehow. Oh my, is that a new swimsuit spirit origin? Swimsuit spirit origin? Uh-oh. Jalter knows what that means. So- So, hold on. Did they just- did they round up, like, everybody who has a swimsuit spirit origin or something? It, it, why? Uh, I guess I'll find out. Mm, I love it! This new Valkyrie swimsuit spirit origin of yours is too cute for words! I know what you mean, it's quite charming. Um, hang on, don't tell me. It is some sort of summer, sw a summer swimsuit themed military dress? Yes, I think it is. In some ways, it reminds me of Lady Osakabe Hime's Summer Spirit Origin. What a lovely outfit. It suits you very well. Um, huh? She's not Throod, or Hildur, or Ortland. So, who is she? Hey, thank you for the follow, Evelyn. Hey, no problem. I'll be sure to. Huh? It's true, she's not any of them. Only her scent matches the others. Tell me, what's your name? <sighs> I should have known you three would figure it out. You mean the fact that she doesn't look anything like Throod, Hildur, or Ortland didn't raise any suspicions whatsoever with these people? Okay, you know what? I'll forgive them for Throod. I, like, she she really is just like a orangier haired version of Throod. But it's like she doesn't look anything like the other two. So the fact that they didn't question this at all is insane. <laughs> you gotta love the plot holes, right guys? 
The Valkyrie spirit origins are all supposed to be identical, but you still saw right through me. It's a pleasure to meet you, heroic spirits of Caldea. My name is Gearskogel, but please call me Ears. I totally butchered that, and I am so sorry. This unit's name is Rinder. Nice to meet you. I'm Rune. So pleased to make your acquaintance. We are the three new Valkyrie sisters. That is, we are three Valkyries who have recently been summoned separately from Thrude, Hildur, and Ortland. Now I see. You look like you're quite the sharp shooter, so are you an archer? Or maybe an assassin, judging from how you conceal your presence? New servants, huh? So how come Master didn't tell us about you? Excellent question! You see, we are not Caldean servants. We're the new Valkyrie sisters summoned by Lady Scotty, Queen of the Arctic. Scotty, seriously? Oh, but please don't misunderstand. We're still definitely proper human history servants, okay? Tell us then, what are the servants unaffiliated with Caldea doing here? Last I heard, Lady Skahak Scotty was still one of us. Are you telling me she's turned traitor? I'm warning you now. If you mean Caldea or our master any harm, I will slice your spirit origin in two here and... Whoa, whoa, slow down, Rikopin. The new gal here is packing a real wallet, but she hasn't aimed it our way yet. If it was a fight she was after, wouldn't we wouldn't be having this conversation, now would we? I mean, you still could have. This game likes to have us yap, so... We could still have this conversation, whether or not she meant us any harm or not. <laughs> you make a good point. I'm afraid I was a little hasty there. It's summer. There's no telling when we might see someone boarding about in an indecent spirit, or spirit origin. That is the... Is the phrase, the pot calling the kettle black? Because Raikou, have you seen your summer spirit origin? I'm sorry. Hey, thank you, Shockway. I am, I am sorry. Oh no, you don't get to comment about people with indecent spirit origins. I'm just kind of used to it. Personally, I think my, I think my acting is a little, uh, is way off in my opinion but i think it also helps that i'm just like i'm not trying to do a voice because that's when it gets really bad but thank you i appreciate the compliment so as a mother er the shadow prefect i'm rather on edge just now oh hey it is summer isn't it we'll have to break out the swimsuit soon I'm not sure swimsuits are really the matter at hand. Actually, they are. I... Pardon? No, it is absolutely practice. Um, if you really want to address your ability to read and make it sound natural or just get the acting down, you pretty much just have to get used to reading and, and kind of forcing yourself at first, but over time it really comes to you. I have a little bit more practice with that because I did take drama for a year and before that I was uh, not to sound like a total loser. I didn't have many friends, so let's see. Um, I used to spend a lot of time making stories and the way I would do that was by speaking the stories aloud. So I had a lot of, I just kind of had a lot of ability. It really streaming has kind of made it to where it's like, I have enjoyed this way more because I get to I get to put those performances on for people. So yeah, it is, it's more practice than anything. What did you eat, Star? Ah, oh, damn, I just realized I'm out of calories for the day. I was like, hmm, food sounds great, but then I'm like, ah. Well, I guess if I have something light, it'll, it'll, it'll be fine, but I'm, I'm mostly out. <gasps> I can have apples. Apples aren't very many calories. It's like maybe a hundred.
yeah that is definitely a thing is like as you get streaming you build up the confidence and you just have a far easier time talking Ooh, that's another thing i need to expand my vocabulary yeah that's fair add a crispy chicken Ooh, that sounds so good now i kind of want some fried chicken i love the fact that i started buying diced up chicken pre-done so that way i don't have to cut it and it's really nice when i just want to make some like homemade chicken nuggets I am here to discuss swimsuits. You see, we three sisters are. We are the swimsuit spirit origin Valkyrie sisters. Yeah, you already said that. Swimsuit spirit origin Valkyrie sisters? Yep, get it now. I. Oh, uh, yeah, I. No, I don't get it. Er, what? I am on- Eris and I are completely on the same page. It's- It's like, what is going on? No, sorry, I don't get it at all. What even is a swim- Oh! Wait! No, hold on, no, Eris has been with us a while. At hold on. No, Eris should know about the spirit- The swimsuit spirit origins, right? She's- She's- She's been with us through a summer event. I mean, she didn't take part in one. But I still imagine she would have heard about it by now. But that's so cool. Every other servant used to always know about this. Okay, so she does know about it. She just never understood the concept. Alright, that makes much more sense. Well, I've seen some servants changing their spirit origins when summer rolls around. But I don't really know the details, and I haven't been able to ask Master about it either, so... I'm kind of in the dark. Yeah? That's perfect! I don't just need servants who already have swimsuit spirit origins, I also need to gather up servants who are new to the swimsuit thing. <laughs> Render is so excited about this. And I've picked you! Let's go! Um... I'm sorry, where are we go? Uh, pri uh, hold up. Yo, is she about, to, I'm sorry, is she about to shoot some clothes onto Eris? Does this count as a mugging if you're getting clothes <laughs> instead of having them stolen from you? Primordial runes. Bestow upon us a summary outfit. And for his neutral special, Joker uses a gun. Are we saying that this is a Persona reference? I'm not gonna lie, Summer Eris is actually really cute. It's too bad people, the internet had to ruin it for me just like everything else. Whoa! God, I wish I had Jarcher. Not even just because, like, she's cool looking, but just because having a, an AoE Arts Archer would be great. Yes, these are our swimsuit spirit origins, all right. Hey, why'd you grab me like that? Would have been really easy to dodge that if you hadn't grabbed me. Now, now, she said summary outfit, so I was sure it wouldn't be dangerous. Someone just points a gun at Jean, and Jean is like, I won't dodge this. <laughs> you know what? That's... I can't really say that's valid, though. It's like, uh, I don't care what kind of gun it is. A clothes gun or what? I'm dodging. Besides, just look at us. We're cute, right? Don't you think two sisters changing into swimsuits at the same time is just wonderful? Um. <clears throat> Um. <clears throat> what was my reaction to Summer Jalter? Oh, I fucking loved her. I I loved that whole event. That's that event is actually the entire reason like Jalter was like my first waifu for this game. 
because I first started playing the game when that event was released. And I was like, I loved the fact that her whole thing was basically being a writer. What? No. My, no, the outfit is cool, but that wasn't the reason that I was like, that I that I can't that I came to love Jalter. It was literally the event story that made me uh like, oh, I love this character. The swimsuit is hot though. Like, let's let's go ahead and be honest. <laughs> Like, if you can look at Jalter and say, oh, like, oh, that's not sexy. It's like, man. But uh, also, can can we just talk about how freaking sus this line is? Don't you think two sisters changing into, changing into swimsuits at the same time is just wonderful? Wow. Really trying to fill up the imagination with that line. It's perfectly innocent because it comes from Jean, but holy shit, the DJs probably loved it. <laughs> no, hell no. And you'd better not be doing that creepy pretending to be our big sister thing again this year. I'm not pretending to be anything. You and John Alter Lily are my sisters and FG Rolls is my younger brother. Ooh, all masters just got brother zone to be fair everybody knows that jean's true true husbando is sieg so ha! get wrecked oh i haven't put well you know what that's not totally true i've only done three pulls on the banner uh because all i wanted was the ce's so i got the four star and five CE, and I got one copy of Summer Garrett, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'll be doing most of, I'll be doing my actual pulls when Summer Scotty releases. Ah, got something. Uh, about six hundred and thirty. So it's pretty good. Like that, that's actually pretty, that's actually a pretty good amount, honestly. Uh, if I could get back up to 660, I'd be happy. But 630 gives me enough to do the pulls that I plan to, because I really only just want NP1 of Summer Scotty. If I get NP2, I'll be happy with it. But my main goal is to get NP1 of Summer Scotty and maybe try for some copies of Summer Ibuki. But in the end, that all comes down to like what the luck looks like. <sighs> what is it about wearing a swimsuit that just makes you into one crazy bitch of a saint? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Star had a like had a collab pull session with someone earlier today, and she just said, "Fuck that guy." Made me wait an hour to roll. Got Lady Avalon in three tickets. Man. It's just the disrespect at that moment. Poor Alex. <laughs> I knew it. You all look great. Your experience with Swimsuit Spirit Origins is really paying off. I'd also like to thank you, if I may for letting me use this rune and not even trying to stop me. I'm pretty sure you could have destroyed me and my rune all by yourself if you'd wanted, right? Hmm, how should I put this? I suppose I forbore because I didn't sense any malice from you, but, and because Lady Nagiko had a very firm hold of my sleeve. Besides, if there is a new summer, sur a new summer singularity out there, then it is my duty to observe it very closely from within, for decency's sake, of course. So remember how Raiko was talking about indecent summer origins, summer spirit origins a second ago? Do, does, do we want to talk about the lady who is wearing the high school outfit and currently has her freaking nipples pointed at us as if they were like, like as hard as steel, basically? Can we talk about that? Actually, no, let's move on. 
<sighs> okay, to be fair, it's like I, I would rather talk about Tammy's wet top too, but uh, he's not on screen. That's right. I will not let anything. <laughs> I will not. That's right. I will not let anything risque, indecent, immoral, or unacceptable happen on my watch. Whenever she says things like that, I can't help but wonder if Lady Raiko has ever actually looked in a mirror to see the swimsuit she's wearing. Thank you! Oh my god! Thank you, <laughs> Murasaki! Uh, to be fair, like, also, I will say, I, I think this is actually my preferred form of Murasaki. It's like, it's not any better. It, like, ac actually, no. Murasaki's first ascension is actually probably way better than her other two. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the second ascension, which just makes her look like she got beat up. And I'm like, that's just rude. And the third ascension is the worst. I don't like the... I don't like that bright blue bikini. It's the worst. Wait, you, you, okay, nah, nah. But Summer, Summer Say is actually really good. I like her design. Except for Second Ascension. I'm not a big fan of the leopard print bikini. Hmm, well, far as I'm concerned, all's cute that ends cute. But check it out, <laughs> even the famed leader of the Genji here is downright beautiful in this outfit. What? <laughs> okay, once again, I have a message for those of you with swimsuit spirit origins. These words come straight from our Arctic Queen. Swimsuit spirit origin servants of Caldea. Come to the Arctic Circle and enjoy all summer has to offer. Okay, let's go. I'll tell you the rest after we get there. So wait, did they just get kidnapped? <laughs> oh, wow. Can we talk about the fact that what is essentially all a bunch of horde of five stars got kidnapped? by these three four-star characters. Except Eris. Eris is four-star. The others were all originally five-star before uh, getting their swimsuit origins. So... <laughs> Funny. Okay, moving on. Opening Arctic... Wow. This is a long prologue for an event. Usually the prologue is just like one arrow. Huh. I'm surprised by this. Nope. Not a damn thing here. Achilles. Did you steal Martha's dragon again? Achilles is going back on his Pokemon trainer journey, huh? <laughs> Pokemon trainer? Achi I wish I had Achilles just so I could make him wear this outfit. Sure ain't. No TV, radio, no vehicles either. Except my chariot, obviously. The only thing this place has in abundant is an abun- Oh my god. The only thing this place has is an abundance of cold weather. Yeah, if we weren't servants, we'd already be frozen to death. And singularities aside, the whole damn planet looks like this now, even if it's not all this cold. Although... This is the North Pole, right? So where's the singularity? I figured since those Valkyrie chicks invited us, there'd be, you know, something here. Right? Why go to the trouble of dragging us out to the middle of nowhere? Exactly. What could they possibly wish me to do this in this in these endless white plains? I know, right? This is not what I had in mind when I came all this way. 
I won't say it should be all sunshine and flowers, but it is summer, and we're all in our swimsuits, right? So there should at least be something here to give us a, cha a chance to live in style. I know what you mean. Even a little bit of booze would go a long way here. <sighs> you servants are nothing if not demanding. But, <laughs> I just love that spirit. Scotty, is that you? Yes, I am Skahuk Scotty, Queen of the Arctic. I'm speaking to you from a great distance using a replica of Caldea's communication system. Let me take this opportunity to thank you all for accepting my invitation. I've brought you all here for a very simple purpose. You are going to transform the North Pole into a summer paradise. Paradise? Indeed. I want you all to create the paradise of your dreams. I can do little on my own, but with all you here to help, I declare here and now that I shall create the ultimate paradise in the North Pole. It shall be called Arctic Summer World. Arctic Summer World? Huh, so that is your plan. Do not hold back. Go, enjoy your summer. I wonder who these silhouettes are. <laughs> for who, who, for who could they ever be? To be fair, I think this actually was a surprise on JP. But it's like when you're on NA, it, the, the surprise is wrecked. For it is here to stay for all eternity. You just don't recognize the one with the seemingly plush hair? I could tell you who it was prob probably was. Right. Yes. I see. So, essentially, it's business as usual. Yeah, I guess, but... Oh, thank goodness. Your response was actually reasonable. We cannot let this go any further! What in the world are we even doing here? How could we let yet another Caldea servant create a singularity? Do we have any singularity whatsoever for our stock of holy grails? Let me remind you, a minute singularity is still very much a singularity! We're supposed to be saving human humanity from singularities, not creating more! Easy there, Gordy. Deep breaths. I think we're just dealing with a little misunderstanding, that's all. Oh? Let's start at the beginning. Would you do the honors, Mash? Of course. According to our records, this began when Sakahak Scotty suddenly left Caldea base. Essentially, she independently performed a pseudo-zero sale to travel to the Arctic Circle via void space. She zero sailed without so much as a protective suit? Is she mad? I don't even want to think about what could have happened if she'd failed. Ooh! Wahoo! Not to mention that it wouldn't even be possible for an ordinary human to zero sail on their own. I swear these divine spirits can get away with whatever the hell they want. Uh, to be fair, I think she could get away with it not just because she was a divine spirit, uh, but also because... <laughs> Because literally she's a servant. They are made to withstand, like, everything. So what about the Holy Grail she used to make this singularity? I assume it's one of ours? No, it's actually seems she acquired it in the Arctic Circle, so... Oh, so it's not one of Caldea's Holy Grails after all? That's right. Anyway, the three Valkyries, Thrude, Hildur, and Ortland, all left Caldea and arrived at the Arctic Circle almost simultaneously as Scotty. Hmm, I don't see any way the Valkyries could have zero sailed on their own. So they must have hitched a ride with Scotty. Hitched a ride? You make it sound like they just grabbed a cab. Of course, it couldn't have been as simple as that. So I can only imagine they must have been willing to risk their lives to follow her. 
Yep, sounds like the Valkyries. What's my nationality? I am American. Uh, it is only English. I can't really do it. Like, the, the best I have ever done with, like, other languages is just studying a bit of extra Spanish. Mostly because it was requ a required school course. And I actually kind of enjoyed it. Sadly, uh... I doubt I'd be able to do any real Spanish speaking now. Yes, it does. So the obvious conclusion is that they were trying to stop her. Right, though unfortunately it seems they didn't succeed. Afterwards, Scotty's magical energy signal moved away from the Valkyries, who appear to currently be holding position where they arrived in the Arctic Circle. Maybe after their negotiations failed... Yeah, that's fair. It's actually kind of interesting. I've read so many works written by people who are like from, uh, from Europe that as a result, when I go to spell words, I sometimes spell them the British way. Like, um, a good example of this is that while I would still spell color as in C-O-L-O-R, I might, I might still use O-U-R as the ending instead for certain words. I can't think of which ones right off the top of my head. Um, I spell gray as in G-R-E-Y. So like, I, I think in America it's still, it's spelled G-R-A-Y. I spell it G-R-E-Y. A-Y just always looks weird to me. E-Y is usually what I do. Wait, is that American or is that the British? I'm pretty sure British is the, uh, is the E. It's sometimes hard for me to remember. And of course, sometimes I go Canadian and I spell about as a boot. So yeah. <laughs> that was a joke for Star. <laughs> That's not how it's actually spelled, but it is funny. All right, back to this. Maybe after their negotiation failed, they decided to stay put and wait for FG Rolls to get there instead of going after Scotty. An excellent rational decision. All right then, what are we to make of these new Valkyries? New Valkyries? Right, according to our records, three new Valkyrie sisters appeared inside the base not long after Scotty left. All we know for certain right now is that they all possess different spirit origins from Thrude, Hildur, and Ortland. These new Valkyries made contact with a number of servants, all of whom changed into swimsuit spirit origins and then traveled to the Arctic Circle themselves. And that's not all. At about the same time, a number of the servants who didn't change into swimsuit spirit origins used external magical energy to materialize from their spirit forms, then made their own way to the Arctic Circle. Damn it. Every time. Every single time. I swear, what is it about summer that makes the servants just flock to singularities like they're hot new dance clubs or something? Don't worry, Director. These numbers actually look pretty average. <laughs> Average? This has happened so many times that you can actually calculate averages? Boo! Am I imagining things or is the little furball trying to console me? Well, hey, either way, it's not like this is our first rodeo. This base, or rather the Wandering Sea, is part of a highly unusual environment. In general, it's impossible for external factors to intervene here and vice versa. So I suspect these servants followed Scotty's Zero Sail Trail to reach the Arctic Circle. Sometimes when I'm typing a word that's supposed to have a Z in it, you, i.e. realize, Discord tells me it's wrong and that the Z is supposed to be an S. 
The Z sounds right to me. I sometimes spell it with a Z too. Huh. Uh, technical advisor, is there such thing as a as zero sale trails? Nope, definitely not. Hey, what's up, Fallen Meme Lord? How's it going? Didn't think so. So, we can probably assume this is some kind of primordial rune reality bending at work. Man, those Age of Gods mystics are something else. It's like there's literally nothing Divine Spirits can't do with them. Especially if they have a Holy Grail at their disposal. Which she does. We recorded a Holy Grail signal in the Arctic Circle right when all this happened. And as I said earlier, this Holy Grail isn't one we've been keeping here at Caldea. So she found it in the Arctic Circle, huh? Are we really okay letting Divine Spirits just do whatever the hell they want? Well, they are literal gods. Of course, they're going to need... They're going to be a bit much for humans to handle. We still need their help if we're going to save all humanity, though. Well, yes, that's true, but still... Oh, well. I suppose there's nothing to be gained from... I suppose there's nothing to be gained working myself into a tizzy. The fact is, Scotty used the Holy Grail to create a singularity at the North Pole. And Divine Spirit or not, it's still only a minute singularity, no? So then, won't it close on its own soon enough? Granted, we still need to collect the new Holy Grail, and it would certainly make us all feel better if we sealed this minute singularity while we did so. But then again, this is Skahuk Scotty. We're up against, though I must say she doesn't strike me as the kind of divine spirit to try anything truly dangerous. Oh. You scared me, Furball! Huh? Senpai, it's an emergency? I apologize for not being present in person. I have a report regarding this singularity straight from the computer room. Here is a rough overview of the strange predictions Trismegistus II just spat out. This singularity will never disappear on its own. This abnormal situation in the North Pole will continue forever unless Caldea stops it. This park will never close. Uh... Huh? There you have it. It would seem your summer plans have been made. D damn it all! What happened to you, Skahawk Scotty? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> if the singularity won't close on its own, then we'll just have to do it ourselves. R right. We can't just, we can't ignore Trismegistus II's calculations. Prepare to deploy for field operations immediately. Your mission will be to resolve this singularity and to find why Scotty made it in the first place. Okay, FG Rolls, go get ready. We'll race shift you to the North Pole in 10 minutes. Got it. We have the tools for knowledge. We must simply learn to use them, the same way our ancestors used sticks and stones to create fire. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, all set to leave? This singularity is located in the North Pole in the present day. I wish Holmes and I could go with you, but I'm afraid we've got our hands full installing the sacred sword armament on the border. Man, this sucks. I wanted to visit the North Pole, too. I'll always bring you back lots of stories to tell. Oh my god, my sinuses are killing me. For the time being, I'll leave MASH... I'll have MASH handle support for me. Sorry about this, MASH. I'm sure you would have liked to enjoy your summer, too. It's no problem. Providing support from the base is important, too. 
And this summer, I'm not going to take my eyes off of Senpai for a second. Hey ho, what you mean by that, Mash? What about when I gotta go change clothes? That's a little weird. My Kohai cannot be this awkward. <laughs> hey, what's up, Italian? How's it going? Wow, you're really fired up about this, aren't you? Okay, great. So as far as we can tell, this singularity in the Arctic Circle is keeping a number of servants held inside. This may be pretty standard for summer singularities, but it's also a problem we still need to resolve. Hey, congratulations! Welcome to the classic world of adulthood. I promise you, it sucks. The upside here is that there will be no shortage of servants to accompany you on this mission. So if nothing else, you should at least be as be good as far as manpower goes. Why do I keep pressing this button? Red? No. No. Oh my god. Yo, no, I need to go get some water. I am killing my throat. Uh, I'll go out as soon as this note is done. My throat is dry. R right. Every one of these servants is very skilled on the battlefield. Glance. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> it's Dolman. Hmm, rest assured, you will be in good hands with me. <laughs> I guarantee it. Oh, I cannot do that voice with him shouting like that. <clears throat> Let me try that again. I guarantee it. Hey, what's up, Daryl? How's it going? Ashia Doman! Get him out. Double take. <laughs> Pleasant smile. And of course, I won't be the only one. Isn't that right? I do love how I have made Pepe and Doman basically have the same voice for me. Mmm. <laughs> Good grief. I guess the winter incident wasn't enough. How strange for Scotty to be involved in something like this twice in the span of a year. She may be suffering from a condition that causes erratic behavior. The sooner I can examine her, the better. And on top of that... <laughs> you said we're going to the North Pole, yes? Such a remote location is bound to be home to rare and unusual diseases. As I'm a member of the medical team, it makes perfect sense for me to come along. Asclepius! However, I'm not thrilled about going along with an alter ego who seems to be little more than a walking pathogen. With your permission, Master, I'd be happy to dispose of him. Or perhaps I needn't even ask permission? But, well, he hasn't done anything yet, so... Go right on ahead! Naturally, and I have no intention of changing that, I promise. Absolutely does not buy any of this. So, uh, you guys don't mind if I go now, right? N not at all. Please go right ahead. Okay, so, my turn. They said this one's up in the North Pole, Master. Great. That sounds nice and cool. Yanqing! Wait a minute. This does not look like my Yanqing. HSR Yanqing looking a bit different. That's me. Huh? You're saying my normal getup looks more fitting for hot weather? That may be true, but don't worry about it. Anyway, both Gareth and I are excited to work with you, with you all. Ha! <laughs> I was gonna say y'all. Oh my god, Gareth is so cute! Thank you, Yan Ching. That's right, Master. I'll be coming along too. 
so we're going to the North Pole? Then we might see polar bears! I hear they're really strong! Which is why I thought a mystic sword would come in handy. Gareth! <laughs> yes, it's me! Thanks to my new spirit origin, I'm now a mystic sword wielder, a saber! So you don't have anything to worry about. I can handle things if we get into a rough spot. I already got her. Oh, I don't have to bark. Good. I'll save my barking for Scotty. I mean, <clears throat> I'll save my barking for other things. <laughs> oh, and, oh my God. What, how do I pronounce his name? Aned? Oh, and Aned here's coming too, of course. Aned! You'll also be accompanied by three more servants, the Valkyries, Thrud, Hildur, and Ortland. As I mentioned earlier, they should already be waiting for you in the Arctic Circle. Gotta love summer, it's the only time you get these giant lineups. We are the Summer Avengers! Avengers, assemble! Yep, it's like I told you, there's lots of eligible servants this time. So, did those three new Valkyries give all of you your new swimsuit spirit origins too? They did for me, yeah. Me too. Not me. The Lancer Skahawk just decided to mess with my spirit origin the other day. Damn, seriously? Seriously. <laughs> Guess that's what you get with a crazy Celt. I wouldn't say that. It turned into an outfit that's much easier to move, fitting for a summer medic. Also, strictly speaking, this is a Spiritron dress, not a swimsuit spirit origin. Alright, guess mine is too. Oh, oh, I see. For my part, I tweaked my own spirit origin and came up with this Spiritron dress myself. What do you think? Does it not suit me? You all look great, except for Doman. <laughs> uh, you okay there, Doman? Your face is looking kind of freaky. Like, freakier than usual kind of freaky. Why, this is merely a smile. Do you take issue with smiling as a matter of principle? Oh no, I should do a more growly tone. <clears throat> Why, this is merely a smile. Do you take issue with smiling as a matter of principle? That's a smile. Personally, um, I find those wriggling morning glories to be scary. I, I, I mean, I'm not scared of it or anything. They're just really creepy. Wow, Kara, that's really blunt. I can't blame Lady Gareth for being wary. The vampiric Shikigami have been known to feast even on the blood of heroic spirits, you know. Very well then. I shall put them away for the time being. <laughs> Dude is just like, all right, I'll put them away. Whoa, now that's a much snazzier outfit. Yep. Come to think of it, how come you two didn't go to the Arctic Circle after your spirit origins were transformed, Yan Ching and Gareth? I probably would have if it wasn't for Yan Ching. Thank you again for helping me out. No problem. Really? Well, the runes didn't seem to work too well on me, and the new Valkyrie didn't know what to do about it. Maybe it's because of the Phantom Spirit I've got mixed in with my spirit origin? Anyway, that bit of luck gave me a chance to leave. When I did, I took Gareth here and with me since she was there too. Good call, Yan Ching. <laughs> you think? Definitely, if you hadn't done that, I wouldn't be able to accompany Master on this mission. Thank you again. Ah, no worries. A sound decision, medically speaking. Hey, thanks. Hmm. 
A most wise judgment indeed. Uh, right. Thanks. It's all right, no need to be shy. Damn, you really mean that, don't you? Okay, enough staring contests. Now then, is everyone ready to go? Ready? I mean, I'm not. I didn't pack a swimsuit. Ready when you are. All good. No problems here. Leave it to me. Hmm. Ashia Doman's smile is kind of worrying. But he has been behaving himself this year, so... Okay. Good luck in the Arctic Circle, FG Rolls. I'm gonna need it. Mash, start the countdown, please. Understood. Initiating countdown. T minus 10 seconds to race shift. Hey, that was not a countdown, nor was it 10 seconds. That was false advertising, Mash. <laughs> I mean, if he didn't behave, he's going back to the jar. No free swimsuit co mystic code this year, Sag. Yeah. Well, I don't know what mystic code they could have given us, to be honest. It's like, I, I feel like we've gotten a summer mystic code for like every base form of attack style. So I might be wrong. Did we did we get a summer buster? I don't remember, but if, if like I started the year of summer four, I believe. So I have no idea. Why do I got three notifications? Oh, that's why. Okay. How are you gonna do? All right, look, I need to go get some water. So I'm gonna be right back, guys. Like, it shouldn't take me that long. So I don't think it'll, it, I don't think it'll uh, matter. It's so funny going into the kitchen. Uh, sorry. I was getting some water and uh, Freya, our dog, was barking at our was barking at one of my housemates trying to get him to remember he has to take her for a walk. Because she like he gets home late, so he's usually the one who does the afternoon walk. I'm usually the one who brings her in and he was just like he he was uh, he didn't really want to do it. 
and she just kept barking at him like get your ass over here and take me out it is hilarious you just gotta love dogs you, you, you just gotta love i was like when you get a when you get a dog on a schedule they they are they are on a schedule that that's the reality of it is like they will stick to that schedule and the idea of not following that schedule is completely foreign to them we're here the arctic circle oh wow it is so much easier to talk now that uh now that my throat isn't dry as a desert Woo! So this is the Arctic Circle. Look at this place. Nothing but wide open space everywhere you look. It does kind of look... It does kind of look how I imagine the North Pole would. Then again, it feels like there's something pretty off about it. Uh, it's not cold. In fact, it's actually kind of hot. Hey, yeah, now that you mention it, the temperatures turned to perfect, tuned to perfection. I'm guessing that's the Holy Grail at work? Wait, hold on, huh? Okay, yeah. Okay, I get it. They knew they had to make this a real summer singularity if they were going to gather swimsuit servants. You may be right. It certainly is warm. Especially for the Arctic Circle. I can even feel a nice cool breeze. Though, of course, regional climates can only differ so much when the world has been bleached to nothingness. I don't know. If nothing else, the sun seems like it's doing fine out here. The exclamation point, it trips me up. Like, I'm like, ah, oh, do I yell it? Do I kind of sound a little more excitable? It's hard to tell. And it's like, after doing this, I have so much more respect for uh, VAs who get very little voice direction because they have to just read something and take a guess. So when there's an exclamation point just randomly there, yeah, it doesn't always, it doesn't always filter incorrectly because it doesn't seem like it would really change the dialogue between shouting or something. Yeah, that sun does seem pretty big. What was that? It is larger than usual. Ah, just what I need. An even bigger reminder of Apollo's stupid face. <laughs> At least there's no way for a star to reach us here. Singularity or not. Oh, right. Meteors. Damn it. I'm not seeing any abnormal readings in the sky. Maybe it just looks bigger than usual? It also differs from our records of the Scandinavian Lost Belt, so if nothing else, we can rule out any connection to the King of Giants. Yeah, definitely wouldn't want to go up against that guy. So if this is the North Pole, does that mean we'll find polar bears here? I don't know. Will we? Anyone else getting amusement park vibes? Hmm, it does seem like one, yes. I don't see any Ferris wheels or roller coasters, though. But there is indeed something in the air here that just feels fun. Why don't you bust out your own swim... Oh, sorry. Why don't you bu bust out your own swimsuit, Master? You've got a mystic code like that, right? That's quite a large ice castle in the center there. One of its towers is almost lost in the clouds. Quite a, quite a large place, isn't it? It would be easy enough to exhaust ourselves just going from place to place here. Hey, what's up, Emperor Nero Sword? How's it going? Yeah, bust out the trunks. Wait, something's coming. I'm picking up a magical energy signal headed your way. Please be careful, senpai. Wait, is that... Hey, there he is! Master, over here! Those voices... Are they coming from above? Holy shit! 
Okay. It's a boat. A really big boat. A hyper-realistic boat. No, it's not hyper-realistic, but it's just funny to say it. It looks like it's meant for sailing on ice. Oh, oh what a majestic sight. <clears throat> oh, oh, what a majestic sight. Is this a cruise ship? So, this is the source of that magical energy signal? Are you alright, Simbai? Yep, good thing the boat stopped when it did. Hey! Master! Is that you, Valkyries? Yes, it's us. Sure is. Please come aboard. We can talk more in the cabin. Well, this should be fun. This should be very fun. Damn! Check out the new digs, guys! Why can't- why can't this be our normal boat? Our normal boat. <laughs> you had to mute yourself? Just to shout, hyper-realistic boat. When you got to that part in P5R, so you didn't ruin it for Alex? Uh, and then there's me who ruined everything. Knock knock! Whoa! It's like a real home in here! No comment about how fancy every- No comment about how ev about how fancy everything is, Gareth? You must be pretty used to royal living yourself. Hmm, a real home indeed. You too, huh, Doman? Yeah, it is pretty homey. So I'm the only one who feels out of place here? Yeah, pretty much, dude. <laughs> You're screwed. Wow, I bet you could travel around the whole world in this thing. <laughs> that's more like it. I knew you'd understand, Master. An enormous cruise ship that suddenly appeared atop the ice. That's quite the mystery we're leading off with. Master! Sorry, Master. We tried to stop Lady Scotty, but we couldn't. I'm sorry, Master. I hope you will give us a chance to redeem ourselves. It's the Valkyries! Oh, it's the three old Val model Valkyries. So it would seem, yes. Huh? What, what do you mean, old model? That, that almost sounds as if we're obsolete? Asclepius, Dolman! Hmm? Oh my, do forgive. You can call those other Valkyries the new ones if you like. But please don't refer to us as old. Got it? Understood. Now what's going on with this ship? It's not your noble phantasm, is it? No, it's not. Lady Scotty gave it to us. She said we can use it to get around the North Pole Singularity, Arctic Summer World. But you don't need a ship to get around. You can fly, so then... Yes, it must be meant for Master. <laughs> well, she's being awfully generous. It's weird how nice she's being, right? Indeed. Perhaps she truly meant no harm in creating this singularity. She may even think she's doing a good deed. Stare. Glare. <laughs> Stare all you like. It will accomplish nothing productive. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even realize I was doing that. <laughs> I know what you mean. Something about the way Doman talks just raises all the red flags and leaves you on high, on high alert, yeah? Wow, Doman could literally walk into a room, say good morning, and everybody is just like, that's the imposter, throw him out. <laughs> Never, dude, I sometimes thought it would be funny if like we did Among Us, but everybody has to play as an FGO character. And I'm just like, dude, I would totally play Doman or Moriarty. And I would get voted out first every single time. It would be so great. 
but I'd have to get other people to agree to the role play. They'd, they'd have to like play as the character as well. No, that's not quite what I meant. No? Um, whenever Doman talks, do you get chills down your spine too? Huh? You don't? Would you say that's more pure instinct? Like a hunch? Or more of a defensive reaction? <laughs> I'll be second. You will play Gil? Oh yeah. Nah, 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 guys. Let's have Red play Shinji. Thrown out immediately. Doesn't even... <laughs> doesn't even make it to the... Just immediate vote out. Hmm? <laughs> you do remember we're all servants under the same master, yes? Y yeah, good point. At any rate, this is a gift from Scotty, yes? Got it. And that's not all. Check this out. See those stairs at the back of the cabin? They lead down to a host of personal cabins. You should be able to get a good night's sleep there, Master. Yeah, this ship's even got a rec room and a nice big shower. So use whatever you like when you have some downtime, Master. Hmm. I take it this ship this ship doesn't use a typical engine. Amazing, right? This ice top cruise ship runs entirely on primordial runes. I think its official name is Ice Wanderer. Whoa, cool name too. Anyway, this seems like it's all on the up and up. But I'm gonna take a look around just to make sure there's no traps. There don't seem to be any I can see either. But checking to make sure is a good idea, right? I'll go with you. Sure. Whatever you do, don't let him out of your sight. I'm counting on you. Yeah, don't worry. I know. By the way, what's the story with those spirit origins? Y you finally noticed? That's right. We're not Lancers anymore. We came here in pursuit of Lady Scotty. But not only were we not able to stop her, she turned the tables on us. Uh, how so? Oh, uh, not in the aggressive way. She didn't attack us or anything. She just changed our spirit origins against our will because we wouldn't do what she told us. And that's why we have these swimsuit spirit origins now. I guess she thought it might make you listen to her? Mm, oh, maybe it was one of those fake it till you make it things? Maybe she just thought it would help you get into the spirit of summer if you dressed for the occasion. That does sound plausible. But that's not how it worked out. We told her right to her face that none of this would make us change our minds. And that's when she... summoned the new model. Uh, fine then, see if I ask you to do something for me ever again. Snub. Lady Scotty! But I do still need help. Very then, I will try asking some other Valkyries. Other Valkyries? And that's how the new Valkyries ended up being summoned. There's Render, who was manufactured at the same time as Thrude. Rune, who was manufactured at the same time as me, but was one of the last in that batch to wake up. And Ears, who was manufactured at the same time as Ortland. And those are the three other Valkyries in the Holy Grail summon. Have you not met them yet, Master? No, not yet. You won't talk about us, though, as though... Talk about us as though we're outdated now, will you? Please? No way. I know better than that. I appreciate that, Master. All that aside, those new outfits look great on you three. Oh. I, I, um, th thank you, Master. 
Ah, the blushies. <laughs> Thanks, master. I love how Hilda is like, oh, I'll take the compliment. Throod and, and Ortland are like, oh, no, please stop talking. We, we don't know how to handle this. We have returned. I found no signs of any traps aboard. Same here. No secret mechanisms or anything either. It likewise seems to be free of any nasty spells or curses. I suggest you use it gratefully with a clean conscience. I'd love to do just that, but... If you're gonna use a ship, we're gonna need a way to steer it. Um, we'd like to help, but we don't have writing skills since we're assassins now, so... I'm technically a saber now, so I do have writing skill. But I'm not confident I could safely steer a ship this size, especially when it involves master safety. Good grief, looks like it's all up to me then. How did Gordoff sneak in with us? Worry not, I'll handle the ship. How did you get here? Director? Uh huh. Hmm. Director Gordoff. Huh. Wait. When did I even get here? How do you not know when you yourself got? What? Checking Caldea base now. I'm not seeing the director's signal anywhere. That really is Gordoff, our relatively new director. But when did you ray shift there, director? Thanks for helping us out, music man. <laughs> what? Where did you come from, furball? Foe? Did you come here with the director, Foe? Foe, Foe! Oh, that reminds me. I think Lady Scotty might have said something about this. That's right, she mentioned having sent an expert in helming ships. Do you think she meant... Yes, I think she did. Me! So you're saying I was pulled here via Magecraft? So I've basically been summoned. <laughs> Is that it? You work for us now, bitch. Ha <laughs> ha Or maybe she put some sort of restriction on you that made it so you accompanied Senpai on his race shift of your own free, uh, will? Foo, foo. Well, I do, of course, have experience steering a cruiser. I do. But even so, don't you think this is being overly reckless? <laughs> it would seem we have our helmsman. Now then, Master, my fellow servants, could I ask for a moment of your time? No, no, you cannot. Bum 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 bum. Why did you bring us all all out to the deck? To set the mood, of course. For I am about to tell you all about this singularity. Huh? While I was looking around the ship earlier, I sent out Chikigami to survey our surroundings. Or if you prefer modern parlance, I had them run a scan of the whole singularity. The entire singularity? Indeed. Cool. So what did you find out? First, let me ask you this. Where would you like to take this ship? Well, I think we should try s by talking to Scotty. Then I can tell you where you need to go. The Arctic Demonic Ice Castle. That's where you'll find Lady Scotty. Hmm, I see. That is quite a distance away from our current location. We will need to navigate through a number of different areas, and even with this large ship at our command, we won't be able to simply force our way through. That's so? 
You see, each area operates under unique rules, much like reality marbles. Reality marbles? Those are said to be one of the greatest secrets in all of Magecraft. I've even heard rumors that some that for some reason a third-rate mage with a fourth with a fourth-rate magic is somehow able to use one. But obviously that's impossible. <laughs> There's no way that a simple a mere spellcaster would ever have such an impressive power. <laughs> it's all completely completely hearsay. Right? The Right? Anybody want to tell him? <laughs> it takes incredible talent, lots of hard work, and a good help, good helping of luck just to get your foot in the door with them. So. <laughs> well, hard work, maybe. Incredible talent, no. Uh, luck? Probably, actually. I myself don't have any plans to learn how to create one at the moment. But I certainly wouldn't rule out the possibility that I may get around to it someday. Nope. That being said, as a mage, I can't condone someone making such casual use of such extraordinary magecraft. Hmm. <laughs> What? Uh, why are you giving me that look? What, is there something behind me? I'm going to beat the tar out of this idiot, says Emiya. <laughs> Do keep in mind, Director. These places merely operate in a similar manner to Reality Marbles. Keeping multiple reality marbles in operation for any kind of- for any period of time would be fiendishly difficult. That being said... <laughs> Divine spirits certainly don't do anything by halves, do they? Alright, see you around, Star. And in another unfortunate turn of events... This particular one is a goddess who has given primordial runes by the Allfather himself. If she's using a holy grail to fuel her misdeeds, it will be all but impossible to, dis to disable these bounded fields ourselves. No, on second thought, let me rephrase that disabling these bounded fields would be somewhat difficult. How's rephrasing that make any difference? It does not. The fact remains we will not be able to do so ourselves. So instead of trying to force our way through, we should take part in each area's respective attractions. Oop. It's true. I confirmed it myself. I'm not exactly an expert at scanning spaces, but my quick and dirty diagnosis returns the same results. Each area operating on its own distinct rules is the heart of the disease, eating away at the Arctic Circle. Do you concur, Mash? Y yes that's all accurate. I just scanned your surroundings as well, and my results are the same. Each area is surrounded by a bounded field. Hmm, bounded fields, huh? We don't know the specifics, but we do remember one thing Lady Scotty said. Only those who enjoy summer will be able to make it through this North Pole paradise. Yep, she definitely said something like that. Only those who enjoy summer? Uh, could it be some kind of riddle? I don't know. In my experience, things like this tend to be pretty much as they appear. I concur. Yeah, I feel the same. So, what exactly does enjoying summer involve then? <clears throat> enjoying summer, you say? There's 108 days. <laughs> Sorry, what 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 is the song? Uh, there's 108 days for every summer. No, I don't know the lyrics. Ah, 
I'm like, I heard the song very recently, but genuinely that beginning just trips me up. I was going to sing the Phineas and Ferb theme song. Ah, damn it. To, to, term, to determine that, I believe our first best course would be to ask the servant in charge of a given area. Oh, 108 days. Oh, it's 104 days. Okay. 104 days of summer. And school comes along just to end it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's what I'm missing. There's 104 days of summer vacation. Ah, damn. I can't sing it. Like, it, I'm trying to... Alright. There's 104 days of summer vacation. And school comes along just to end it. And our annual problem... Ah, nah. I'm done. Not even gonna try. I'm I'm losing it. I'm not in a singing mood. Moving on. Mostly because I can hear myself and my singing sucks. I'm thinking about taking some singing lessons or something. You know, in between the acting lessons that I keep researching. <laughs> okay, so our plan for the time being is to cautiously steer this ship towards that ice castle. No, all this all the music has disappeared. How does that sound? Roger that. Works for me. No problems here. I like that plan too. Nods. Ooh. Special translation, then let's get going. By the way, are we absolutely sure we can trust Domin? <laughs> I love the special translations. I really do. The special translations are so funny. They're just like Foe saying random stuff that quite honestly, it's like if we could hear him, we'd be asking all the same questions. But sadly we can't, so we're kind of stuck. Absolutely not. That's why we have the jar. All right, here we go. Section one, Secret Avalon. By the way, if any of you guys have been rolling, uh, how have your uh, how have your summer rolls been going? Uh, I can't believe I still got to wait a whole week before I can roll for Summer Scotty. <laughs> Just look at this beauty's propulsion. Look how it smashes clean through ice. So much for not being able to force our way through to our destination. I feel like if we're not careful, we might easily just smash through anything on our way. Don't worry, Director. I'll be the lookout and let you know right away if there's anything on the ground or ice we need to worry about. Like an iceberg. CE Fest? Oof. Good, I'm counting on you. You saw your pulls for Lady Avalon, but got her at the end, so you are content. That's good enough, I guess. You just want Gareth? Fair. Hmm? Why are we slowing down? I'm sure I didn't mess up the controls, could it be? Director, I see something up ahead on the ice. Then does this mean we've arrived? Oh, sorry, that's Gordot talking. Oh, no, that was Gareth. Okay. Okay, I'll dock the ship. Everyone, stay sharp while you disembark and prepare to survey our surroundings. Disembark? No, thanks. I have more urgent work to do. I'll be staying aboard to build a proper infirmary. Needless to say, I must remain behind to protect the ship, so I won't be disembarking either. I was going to ask you to leave a servant behind with me, but fortunately, Asclepius already volunteered. So don't worry about me. You go out there and survey those surroundings. Um, someone want to tell him? Nah, I'll let him figure it out. If possible, I also want you to talk to the servant in charge of this area and find a way for us to get through it. All right, let's get this operation underway. 
and try not to enjoy yourselves too much FG rules. Remember, we are not here on, on vacation. Right, see you soon. Why are you getting changed into a pair of swimming trunks? Why are you bringing a surfboard? Why are you bringing a picnic basket and not inviting me? Damn that cheeky little bastard. <laughs> Khan's connection seemed clear. So I'll make sure to do everything I can to support you, Sensei. Uh, senpai. I don't know why I said sen Sensei. All right, let's go down and see what's up. Indeed, let's be on our way. Yeah, let's. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What's funny is I only played Blue Archive for two weeks and that was when it first came out. All right, everyone's disembarked. I'm glad to see you're safe, Master. From what I can tell, you look to be in the middle of a field of flowers. I never would have believed there could be so many plants in the Arctic Circle. It must be because of the change in temperature? It's beautiful out here. It looks familiar, though. I feel like I've seen these flowers before in a vision that I don't quite wish to relive. Yes, very much so. Keep an eye on your surroundings, everyone. Hilder, I want you to come out on patrol with me. Ortland, you stick close to Master and work with the other servants to make sure he stays safe. Okay. Understood. I can help with the patrol too. Oh right, I guess I'd just slow you down since I can't fly. Man, flying sounds so damn cool. Wish I could. You and me both. Oh, if you'd like. I'm sure I could work something out by fu fusing your spirit origin with my Shikigami. Yeah, not a chance. Hmm, I suppose we'll just have to see. All right, let's get go- Huh? Hilder, incoming, one o'clock! <laughs> oh my god, my sinuses are awful right now. Magical energy detected. It's very powerful, but it doesn't appear to be hostile. Thrud, Hilder, could you please not attack it for the moment? We know, those were just warning shots. We weren't trying to hit them, we only fired at the ground near their feet. But they still deflected every one of our bullets. It's true, I saw it myself. A bunch of tiny magical energy shields popped up out of nowhere. They kind of looked like flower petals. So this servant went out of their way to show off their skills. <laughs> nice. Oh, ho. Yikes, that was close. I know you weren't trying to hit me, but what if you'd hit the flowers instead? We have to take good care of them, you know. Look how beautifully they bloomed. Don't you think? Hey there, everyone. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Please, by all means, go ahead and enjoy yourselves. Hmm? Oh, right, of course. I guess this is sort of our first time meeting, isn't it? In that case, I'd better introduce myself. I'm Miss Flowers, also known as Lady Avalon. Nice to meet you. Uh... Hmm? Why do you remind me so much of Merlin? <laughs> Gareth in the background just having an existential crisis right now. Like, huh? What's going on? <laughs> Meanwhile, hmm, that's strange. My shin just started aching out of nowhere. Maybe it's a theamine def deficiency. Oh, thiamine. Perhaps I got shot with an invisible air arrow? Or maybe there's some mysterious bond at work somewhere far away. Oh well, no harm done. The important thing is that all's right in the world, especially for me. Having said that, I hope they don't get go too far and embarrass us. I've got a reputation to maintain. 
What am I talking about? What an odd question. It's all the rage these days, you see. That's right. It's another example of everyone's favorite kind of world building. The multiverse. <laughs> oh my god. Quit breaking the fourth wall, you bastard. Merlin? Mm, no, never heard of him. Who is he? Oh, found it! Yeah! <laughs> Murder Merlin! Boo! Ka? Why is Foe launching himself at Miss Flowers like that? S stop that, Foe. You can't just charge full tilt at someone you've just met. Certainly not twice. My, that was quite the angle of attack. She must have felt like she was having something gouged out. That was quite the punch, Catholog. I didn't realize you were here too. Uh, you okay? Can you stand? Uh, um, if you need help, you can lean on me. Uh huh. You kids are so sweet. Wait, hang on. You must be this world's Gareth. Hmm? This feeling, something rem about you reminds me of Lord Merlin. You even smell like the same kind of flowers. Um, are you maybe heart pounding? One of Lord Merlin's distant relatives or something? Uh, yes. Yes, that's it. I'm impressed you figured it out. Um, right. I'm Merlin the Great Mage's little sister. So, she's the reverse, Jean. She's gonna go for the little sister part, and not the big sister. Ha! <laughs> oh, God. The story sometimes. Got that? His little sister. I didn't know Merlin had a little sister. He does now. Ha ha ha! Oh, she's like, oh, he didn't, but now he does, and he can just worry about it some other time. Me and the boys unanimously agree that the role of older sister fits her better. Yeah, she she would definitely be the older sister that's always trying to embarrass us. Oh, ho. Oh. What was that? It's me, silly. Look, we're practically identical. Well, you do look alike. A lot alike. Merlin's little sister... Well, she does seem to be mentioned in his legends. Bullshit. <laughs> I have never heard of Merlin having a little sister. <laughs> Bullshit. Really? This is the first I've heard of her. Though I have to say, you really do look a lot alike. You kind of seem like what Lord Merlin might have looked like if he'd been born a pretty girl. I can't take my eyes off you. <laughs> You're too funny. I am? You don't think so? Well, uh, sure, since I'm his sister, yeah, definitely. A at any rate, so you aren't hostile then? Then I have to apologize for using our noble phantasm on you, even if it was just as a warning shot. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I'm so sorry. I have done nothing to apologize for personally. But I too apologize for the Valkyrie's rudeness on their behalf. Ah, uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Honestly, I can't entirely blame you. I mean, if a beautiful girl who looks a lot like Merlin the Great Maid showed up out of nowhere, I'd probably open fire on her too. Yeah, good, uh, point, I guess? I don't think I would open fire on her, but then again... Ooh. Stop that! Stay! Stay, foe! Stay! So, he's not gonna charge me anymore, right? Good. But keep a firm grip on him just in case, okay? Alright, see you around, follow me, Lord.
Don't worry, I got him. All right, let's try this again. First, I have to thank you for always taking good, such good care of my brother. As I was saying, I'm Miss Lady Avalon. Brother Merlin's little sister from paradise. Feel free to just call me Avalon or Lady A if you like. Anyway, I'm here because the Queen of the Arctic asked me to be in charge of this flower park. Nice to meet you, Lady Avalon. <laughs> yeah, sure. Hmm, I see. So you guys went to the castle, yes? Yep, I sure did. Oh, we want we want to go to the castle, so yeah, we sure do. Then you'll need to break the seal here. Seal? Yep, it's seal. If you were regular visitors, you could head straight to the castle, no problem. But since you're here to dispel the singularity... The bounded field in each area of the park is going to automatically activate and try to stop you. And if you want to get past them, you'll need to break each area's seal. Okay, chat, calm down. Don't make me get the bucket of water. I'll get the spray bottle. So if we do that, yep, the bounded field in the corresponding area will let you through. There you have it. If you want to keep going, you'll need to break the seal in every area. That's the rule for the bounded field put up around this whole singularity. So, does that mean... <laughs> I suspect it means we will not be able to force our way through. Just as I said earlier. Looks that way, doesn't it? Alright. So, how exactly do we go about breaking these seals? Does it involve military conquest? Hmm... That, I'm afraid, is... would fall under the category of brute force we've already established won't work, Lady Thrude. For example, what if we destroyed the servant in charge of a given area spirit core? Lady Thrude... Hmm. I guess that could work too, but wouldn't I be, you know, dead if you took that route? Yes, you would. <laughs> Holy shit! Yo! Okay, Thrud is like, look, I don't give a damn if you claim to be Merlin's little sister. Literally, you are too much like Merlin, and that is all the reason I need to put a bullet right between your eyes. Mm-hmm. Um, Thrud. I'm only joking, of course. But maybe... Of course. Uh, of course. Oh, that was a joke. Of course! Yo, Gareth was in on the assassination plan. <laughs> oh, boy. Guess this latest bunch of swimsuit spirit origins came pre-programmed for excessive force. Good grief. One should never be too quick to employ violence, you know. Expression that says, that's rich coming from you. <laughs> Expression that says, why whatever could you mean? Um, Lady Avalon, is there any other way we can break these seals? Absolutely. In fact, there's a much better method I'd strongly suggest you do. These bounded fields are very strong. You'll never get through them if you're just going- if you just go around attacking whoever's in charge of a given area. Well, we definitely don't want that. Just goes to sh <sighs> Sorry. Ooh! Just go to- sh just goes to show how violence is bad. Right? Alright, I'll tell you what you should do. <clears throat> It's very simple. All you need to do is help the manager of each area here achieve their sales quota. Sales quota? Oh! That's right. You see, Arctic Summer World needs to bring in lots of customers if it's going to stay in business. So, who are we selling to? Servants? Servants? Oh, right. You mean the summoned heroic spirits. Alright, you have a good rest of your day, Shockway. 
and thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Fox Gang. Well, there are plenty of those kinds of customers, but there are also customers who aren't servants. See for yourselves. <gasps> Polar bears! Look, Daddy, that flowers are so pretty. That they are, aren't they? Wow! I never thought I'd see anything like this in the North Pole. Life really is full of surprises. It's penguins! It's beautiful! Animals? <laughs> they're talking. Hey, there are polar bears here, and they are adorable. I love watching Gareth and seabirds. They talk too. And this happened. Did the Holy Grail give them temporary intelligence or something? They were rather far away, but we saw some seals and walruses earlier too. Animal customers. Oh, maybe the primordial runes did this to them? <laughs> How absurd. This right here is exactly why I cannot hold a candle to gods. Animals. <laughs> They're really captivate. They've really captivated you, haven't they? You're adorable, Master of Caldea. But I don't think you have the time to be standing around slack jawed. Hey, yo! Is she coming on to me? Calling me adorable? You want to restore humanity, right? Then you'll have to do something about the nor about this North Pole singularity. This is the first area you'll have to do something about, right? Right? What? I'm just saying. Glad. I'm oh, sorry. Good. I'm glad you understand. Okay, everyone? Good luck. Hey, this is my Caldea, my part of the multiverse. You go back to your own corner, Red. The Queen of the Arctic told us to run our areas however we like. I decided to make mine a flower park, but it's not really been bringing in much money. I've hardly done so much as a touch-up since I first set the place up. Now let's see how you can help with that revenue. Okay, seems pretty simple. Let's start bringing in business. This feels weird though. This feels like it would be the end of the node uh, or the end of the section, but this was like dead center of it. Actually, I think this was the first arrow. Yeah, this feels weird. And I'm already needing more water. Damn, it's hot in here. Yeah, that was only the first arrow. What the hell? Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Master, we finished scouting around. Hmm. Maybe I knew that? I don't know. Did you know there was a throne of gods? Are we talking about in terms of FGO lore, or are we talking about just a general throne of gods that you have decided to ask me about for no real reason? I'm part of that we, just so you know. Anyway, I didn't expect it to be easy to find a way to boost our cells. But it was! Oh, oh, that's certainly encouraging. Honestly, Lady A or whatever your name was, I'm kind of amazed you've just been ignoring it all this time. Um, then... No, I did not know that. Hmm? So you have no idea what we're talking about. Okay, we'll explain. This area, Flower Park, is a beautiful garden blooming with ice, mythical, and real, actual flowers. At first glance, you'd think it was quite peaceful. I mean, just look at this place. Feels like something you'd see in a dream, right? But that's not how it actually goes down. 
Right. I don't know why this is, but... For some reason, some of these trees and bulbs are picking up their roots and attacking the customers. No wonder you haven't been hitting your quotas. How did you not notice this sooner? Say, those bulbs over there kind of look like gazers. Gazer bulbs, huh? This part of the park does seem quite dangerous, as it is now. Do you know how this happened, Lady Avalon? Mm, nope. You sure about that? The whole point of my area was to make a nice peaceful place where the visitors could go on walks and take relaxing breaks. My only source of income besides the modest entry fee is the food stands. You know, hot dogs, ice cream, that sort of thing. But this can't continue. I'll never get any customers if it does. Oh, come on. All you need to do is look around the place. Are you always this dense? Now, now. There's no need to be so unkind. It can be surprisingly hard to notice irregularities when they are right under your nose. Well, for the time being, shall we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Let us exterminate these walking trees and floating bulbs, then. So long as you do not object, Master. Begin Operation Weed Control! You want us to exterminate them, huh? Understood. Throod, Orlin, let's go with them. Right. Spirit Origin stabilized as Valkyrie Throod entering combat mode. Huh? Those Valkyries are very interesting. Originally three separate heroic spirits sharing a single spirit origin. Intriguing. Most intriguing. Oh! <clears throat> oh my god. Boo! Oh, Boo! Oh. Ah! Please, stop stinking up and scaring me, Kothbalug. I know. I'll help too, of course. It is supposed to be a tourist attraction. So if I have to show off what I can really do to keep our guests happy, then I will. Bum 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 Alright, let's see. We're just gonna I guess we'll just stick to the No, get back here. I guess we'll just stick to the usual route because Literally, I want to finish up the fights as quickly as possible. So, we're going to pull out all of the stats with Double Koyan Morgan. Generally speaking, uh, I will say I can somewhat agree that the double comps are somewhat... How do I put this? I love how even Magimari is not safe from getting kicked. Foe's hatred runs deep. It does. And all I can say is, get them, foe! Get them! Take them down with all your might! You know what's really weird? I do not remember doing the Cinder Ellie event. Like... At all. I know that we've done it. Because it was last year, I believe. But it was like, it only just occurred to me. It's like, oh yeah, we did do that. Because I know for a fact I have Ryder Ellie. And I'm just like, I don't remember it at all. It was just... To be fair, I think that was during a time when I was like, I really needed a break. From FGO. So I was kind of just logging in doing things and i wasn't uh yeah but red that was like four years that, that was like three years ago though so th it's like that was uh that was during a jp stream i mean i don't remember playing it on na i actually had to sit here and remind myself it's like oh yeah we did play that I'm gonna be real with you. I, it's not a surprise that I got like that because it's like FGO burnout is so real. 
Like, if we're going to talk about a game that is super grindy and I think that many people are going to burn out from, FGO would be that game. Like, out of the games I play, FGO is probably the first one I would burn out of. But it is pretty simple to play, so that actually I could probably bump it down to second. Truthfully, Genshin has a lot of burnout because really it just takes so long to do things. FGO is definitely the second most. HI3 is probably the third most one that I would burn out of. And finally, HSR is the one I am least likely to face burnout for because here's the thing. I can pretty much just pop whatever I'm doing in HSR into uh, auto into autoplay and therefore I don't really need to struggle to get stuff done. It doesn't even feel like a chore to like go in and do anything. It's just like, okay, here's this. Now you can go about your daily business. I knew it. There's no end to these bulb creatures. Something must be out there making more of them. Let's go take a look. There it is. Valkyries, I want you to fly to these coordinates. I'm sending and eliminate this problem at its source. G creepy. The coordinates he sent are just floating in front of me every time I turn my head. I just received Doman's coordinate data too. It looks like there's... Is that a hole in the ground? That's where the gazer bulbs are coming from? Okay, time to plug it. What does that mean? What, is, what, what do we mean? It's time to plug it. Okay, the hole is all blocked now. Yes, there was a hole with a bunch of gazers. I mean, bulbs coming out of it. So we used our runes to make a giant block of ice and seal it off completely. That should stop any more bulbs from getting out. Ooh, that's great. Thanks. I bet our sales will double in no time flat. Just as soon as we can take care of those walking trees. Good point, Master. Let's go wipe those things out of existence. Right sentiment, but maybe word it better next time. What do you mean? I thought that was exactly what we were going to do. We're going to go wipe those trees out of existence. Seems pretty simple to me. I think Yang Ching is just hard pressed to figure out what we're doing. But I know. Fox knows exactly how this is supposed to go. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just along for the ride. Okay. You will form your party immediately before the battle begins. All right. Show me what you got. We're back from reconnaissance. The walking trees are all coming from the west. We haven't been able to confirm exactly where they're coming from, though. Staring at Doman. And you're hoping I can do something about that again? Regrettably, wherever it is, it is not around here. You said they're coming from the west. Then I believe our best course of action is to go search for their source in the west. Okay, let's all go together then. Okay, should we race there? Y you want to race? I see this Gareth also has energy to spare. Master couldn't possibly keep up with a bunch of servants running at top speed. Of course, I could always carry him. Would you like to ride on my shoulders then, Master? You're volunteering too, huh? Hang on, what's that heading toward us? Over there, another walking tree? Hmm, I don't believe so. This divine aura would seem to be... Hostile detected. Master, I'm picking up several of them all flying straight at you. Defensive positions, now! I know, here goes. Right. Will we at last? Oh damn, Gareth pulled out the sword! Why does that look like one of those, uh, those rubber swords that you buy from a store? No, a foam. That looks like a. That looks like a foam sword. 
like it, it like i heard the actual sling of metal but it's like that looks like one of the like a toy sword you could buy at a walmart or something what the are those actual flying fish <laughs> you got a problem with flying fish yes thank you a nerf sword that's what they remind me of i always wanted to buy those when i was a kid because i always wanted to like I always wanted to like swing around the sword when I was like acting out story ideas as a kid. Ah, well, there are just certain dreams that were never meant to come true, I suppose. To be fair, I could just go and buy my myself a foam sword now. Hmm. Things to think about for later. Box buys a foam sword and assaults his housemates with it. Yes, I, um, I'm gonna be real. If I was more sociable and like I actually knew about LARPing uh, years ago, I would 100% be a LARPer. All right, let's see. We're gonna go. Yeah, that's good enough. Like, it's just a fish. It's just got like a like a defense thing. That Morgan can kill this. Like the short sword and shield. They had a short sword and shield variation. Oh man. Bum 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 bum. That reminds me, did I actually, okay, yeah, I did. I was like, I could not for the life of me remember whether or not I actually activated my, uh, my Koyanskaya skills. It was like, uh, did I do that? I don't, rem I don't recall. All right, here we go. Aw, that poor fishy. Not. Enemy defeated. Target elimination confirmed. They really were flying fish, and it looked like they were made of ice? It seemed so, yes. I knew it. Ice fish. I wonder if... Hmm? What, have you seen those ice fish before? Yeah, I think they were probably... Hello, Scotty. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. But come on. Look at that get up, guys. You cannot expect me to not react to it. I love the design of this. So this is Scotty's second ascension, and I don't know. Just, just damn, look at it. I love this. <laughs> Enjoying yourselves. Oh, the Queen of the Arctic. Longer, short time no see. Lady Avalon, good work with your area. Scotty? Wait, how are we talking right now? Yes, I'm calling you remotely from the Arctic Demonic Ice Castle. So that's the actual name, huh? I'm not sure if that's really awesome or really lame. By now, I have seen Caldea's comms protocols in action enough that I felt I could copy it, so I did. But never mind that. What do you think? Um, of what exactly? Are you enjoying yourselves? I imagine that little surprise must have been quite something for you. Little surprise? Do you mean the ice fish? <laughs> Yeah, I don't get what's so funny, your majesty. Or maybe she's just trying to confuse us? I knew it! Those were the same kind of ice fish as the ones that wait on Lady Scotty when she's in her swimsuit spirit origin. Wait, did you go a, a spirit origin ascension? Because I don't remember those fish being nearly that big before. Huh? Mm. Huh? Uh, no, no, wait. 
This is not what I intended. Just, just a moment. Th there we go. Once again, I'm Skahak Scotty, Queen of the Arctic. Can we go back to the other one? <laughs> Can we go back to the other ascension, please? Like, don't get me wrong. I enjoy the, I enjoy the swimsuit. The swimsuit is sexy. But I really love the second ascension. It's kind of my preferred one. My my summer Scotty will probably always be in that form. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I do just love the fact that she's like, wait, hold on. This is not the form I wanted to show off. Goes and changes clothes. Did she just do a quick change? <laughs> I do hope you enjoy yourselves. Goodbye. Wait, why are you doing this? I don't know, because it was fun? Are you serious about this eternal summer stuff? <laughs> I have nothing to hide. By all means, come find me in my Arctic Demonic Ice Castle. Enjoy the eternal summer! I especially recommend partaking in the many delicious food offerings to be found here. Well, that wasn't helpful at all. It would seem she cut the connection. Yes, we've been cut off. I can't reopen the comms channel. What was all that about? Is she just trying to get in our way? Can't say that I'm shocked. Don't the people with Holy Grails usually try to stop us from repairing their singularities? But something about this is bothering me. Except I can't quite put my finger on what. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. It's only human to fall prey to the Holy Grail's charms, after all. Only human, huh? So what do we do when instead of a human, it's a goddess who has the grail? You run and hide because she will fuck your shit up. Like, it's bad enough when humans go after the grail, but if you want to go and talk about a goddess with the grail? Man, you're screwed. You ain't getting that. I mean, we will because we obviously have to defeat the singularity. Look, you guys know what I mean, all right? You guys know what I mean. All right, section one, Secret Avalon. Oh, okay, neat place. Is this also a part of the garden? The Walking Trees, approximate a point of origin. <sighs> I think that makes about a hundred saplings so far. How are we looking, boss? You are correct. Two more saplings and we will have dealt with over 100. That's wonderful. And since we've already got the bulbs auto-generating more of themselves, all we have to do now is grow them into trees here and watch over them until their flowers broom. Bloom. Broom. Perhaps they were some kind of phantasmal. It's certainly not likely at growing ordinary trees. So basically, all of this was their fault. Good job, Ku. Also, I love how Ku could can be in practically every summer event, and he still doesn't have a summer skin. But that makes it more fulfilling. Fulfilling. Th that's true. It is fulfilling. There's nothing quite like watching trees you've planted multiply before your eyes. Not to mention that these plants must have some sort of mystic to grow this fast. Although, it still doesn't seem like they're about to bloom anytime soon, does it? Yeah, it's weird. The Backspear Boys! I'm sorry, what? The Backspear Boys? What, what are the Backspear Boys doing here? What are the Backspear Boys? Huh? Oh, hey, Master, what's up? Focus, we just got another sapling. All right. What do you mean, all right? What the hell do you think you're doing? Growing plants, obviously. What of... 
Um, am I the only one thinking that these lancers have been growing the walking trees and gazer bulbs? It does look that way. So it's not just me then. Oh, hey Lady A. Long time no see. Well, okay, maybe not so long. Take a look, we're almost done planting a hundred walking trees, just like you asked. We should be able to transition them to auto-germinate pretty soon. You're amazing, Lady A. Or maybe these Avalon plants deserve the credit. Either way, all we did was grow them just like you told us to, and the bulbs started multiplying on their own. Look, we've already grown a hundred saplings into trees. Unfortunately, none of them yet sprouted any flowers, though. We can't have a flower garden without flowers! If we could only find a way to make them bloom! Okay, I think I get what's going on here now. I don't! Excuse me, Lady Avalon? If I understand the backstory, I mean the Lancers correctly, then it sounds like they've been growing the floating bulbs and walking trees on your orders. Is that correct? Uh-huh. Okay, that's enough. Get back over here. So, um... You're going to laugh. See, this must have totally slipped my mind, but I might have hired some gardeners to tend to my flowers. Flowers. You really call those monsters flowers? Okay, yeah, that's that's a fair point. Weird. I wonder how that happened. What do you mean you wonder? Did you forget what you told us? You said a normal flower garden, beautiful and all that, would be boring. So you asked us to plant some scary flowers that had attacked the visitors, too. Not that any of the flowers have bloomed yet. Growing these things turned out to be a ton of work. You said it! Quietly nodding in assent. It's been very fulfilling work, though, hasn't it, everyone? Definitely. I would expect nothing less from fa- Er, I mean, not father, but... Well, anyway, I would expect nothing less. So, Diarmoid calls, uh, Bazit daddy. <laughs> oh, that's actually hilarious. How are those trees multiplying so quickly? Multiple hostiles detected. You're, you're right, Senpai, they're multiplying rapidly. Of course they are. We've been working really hard to grow them. P please stop, they're ch they'll chase off all my customers! Uh, you're the one who asked us to grow them in the first place, remember? Hmm, I can see you have your reasons. But once I accept a job, I don't stop until it's done. I couldn't live with myself if I did. Same here. Same here! Of all the times to be responsible, no kidding. Well, looks like that narrows down our options, down to beating some sense into you, literally. Oh, we doing this? Fine with me. You want us to stop? Then try and make us. This is... This is ridiculous, if you want me to be honest. This is legit ridiculous. But okay, if you want me to put a stop to you, I have no problem about putting your asses in the ground. Alright. Bum, 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 bum. Wait, hold on, what's this? Um, Okay, Right. Oh, it's just walk it's just the walking trees. Oh no, okay, I I was kinda confused about how they were gonna do this. I was like, okay, there are five servants. I was like, are they just gonna shove all five of them into the final wave? So then it's like it'll be three waves, but the final wave will have two parts for enemies. 
Nah, it looks like they just kind of distributed the servants uh, among the three waves. Not that it matters, because Morgan's just going to kill all of them. Da 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 Okay, so Vlad and Diamwood on this one. So that means it'll be Bazit and Ku on the final wave. Never has a team that has never truly worked together ever been formed. Now we go up against Lancer and his true master. Eventually, like however long it takes for the game to actually load in. There we go. Let's see, I'm um, just gonna... Look, you guys know the drill. You guys know how this works. We're just gonna clear. いまだ展開しましょう。それは大事な滅びの。うん、let's I think that was the last arrow for this one, was it? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was. Or it was maybe arrow three. Uh oh. Looks like plant. Oh no, wait. The bulbs are fading. Oh wow. Wait a minute. You can attack? I'm sorry, little flowers. I'm so sorry. I promise I'll plant you again somewhere once I've turned you back into bulbs. Goodbye! Are you sure these flowers will bloom? Uh, yeah, they should, I think. Let me guess. They're vampiric flowers that can only bloom by sucking blood from animals, right? Expression that says, now that you mention it, they might be. Expression says, damn, seriously, I was only half serious. Well, damn, I didn't know you could turn them back into bulbs. Guess all our hard work was for nothing. What do you guys want to do now? It is a shame we never got to we never got the flowers to bloom. But there's no sense wringing our hands over it. I don't see any reason to keep going now that our clients forced us to stop. I have to agree. But we're still not leaving without our pay, got it? I know, don't worry, you all got the QP I promised. Sorry about all this. I have to apologize to you too, Caldeans. Sorry for all the trouble and thanks for all your help. So does this mean we pass? I think so. That should take care of the problem here in this area. So why not take a look around and see? Sounds good to me. Shall we get a bird's eye view of things while we're at it? Sure, why not? Flower Park, a beautiful garden filled with ice, mythical, and real actual flowers. So without anything dangerous to get in the way, Red. Wow. We did it, everyone. All the customers are coming back. And they're flocking to the food stands, too. This is great, Master. Does this mean we can pass now? I am on a... Uh, oh, yes, absolutely. Thank you all so much. We have broken the first of the seals. I see. So you managed to reach the sales quota. That's good to hear. Then for the rest of today, I want you to get plenty of rest. Noted. Well done, all of you. I'm glad to see things are going well so far, much as I'd love to keep this momentum and head right into the next area. 
It's getting a bit late for that, hmm? I doubt we'll have much luck navigating by the stars, so... It's probably best we avoid traveling after dark. Why don't we stay docked here for the night, then set off for the next area first thing in the morning? I think that's a good- that's a great idea! Dr. Asclepius is right, Master. You should- you definitely need rest. Nodding along in assent. I agree too, Senpai. Turning in early seems like a very good idea today. Now I feel like a kid getting sent to bed. Well, we did walk quite a way, quite a ways today, Master. You're not wrong. But damn, if finding anything you say reasonable doesn't just give me the chills. Hmm, now, now, don't be like that. Come, why not join me in the cabin for some authentic Chinese tea? You being considerate is even more unsettling. Hmm? Um, Master, do you see Lady A over there? I know. Let's catch her! Uh... Gotcha! And... I've been caught! What are you doing here, Lady Avalon? Well, uh, I was wondering if I could come along with you? My contract says I'm free to do what I like once I reach my sales quota. And I thought it'd be more fun if I let my staff handle the shops and food stands and tagged along with you guys. Why not? We got plenty of room on the ship. You don't mind, right, Director? Huh? You're asking me? Hmm. You are a heroic spirit, yes? Well, I suppose we can never have too much servant power. Great, then it's settled. Thanks for having me, everyone. I promise I'll be helpful however I can. Who is that heroic spirit anyway? He, he's joking, right? He, he's got to be actually joking, right? I know I wasn't supposed to show up this summer, but... A strange sacred land built seemingly overnight in the Arctic Circle. An enormous sun hanging overhead. Really? He's never met Merlin? <laughs> I wonder, is the Holy Grail in the Ice Castle? Or in the Tower of Ice that seems to stretch all the way up to the sun? I think I'll go find out. Bye, Dantes! Dantes cameo appearance. Gotta love it. <laughs> oh, man. Just gotta love the Dantes cameo, huh? Boom, 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 boom. I will now take my free CE. Thank you. I would also like to go ahead and have my Assassin Ortland, if you do not mind. But I imagine we're not getting that until the near end of the event. Which always sucks so much. I don't quite understand how this works, but okay. <laughs> Boom. Okay, guys. I think that that is a pretty good stopping point. I can handle the farming for myself off screen, and that's probably what I'm going to do. I mostly come on to stream to do the... Uh, to really just kind of do the story with you guys. And so, for those of you who have stuck around for this long, I thank you. I know this isn't the most exciting with me just doing the reading and slowly working on improving my abilities, but I still appreciate it nonetheless. Now, let's see, we are going to... I'm trying to figure out who I'm gonna raid. It looks like none of my... Actually, you know what? We're gonna raid... Johnny Lovey, 
So she is somebody who I did a collab with once, thanks to Nick's IRL, and seems she seems really cool. So I'm gonna hand you guys over to her. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you guys for making it to the end of the stream. And if you're watching this on the VOD, on the VOD channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And you know, let me know about the areas that you think I could improve on. And you could always just come and follow us here over on twitch.tv slash f slash 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 FG rolls, and I will catch you guys in another one. Till then, everybody, peace.